why is Steve Jobs dead at 56 and Donald Trump ate like crap and is alive at 77? Donald Trump was 45th president of the United States and he's running for another term and he's currently 77 years of age. The first reason I chose them, they're both American citizens, both very successful men, very wealthy, both born around almost the same decade. They both were big city dwellers, where, as you know, Donald Trump, New York with Steve Jobs, San Francisco, Silicon Valley. They're both tall men. Steve Jobs was six foot two. Donald Trump is six foot three. Both Caucasian. They were both married. They have children. We know Donald Trump has a, a belly on him. And we also know that Steve Jobs was known for being thin throughout his entire life. Steve Jobs, he got diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Not only did he get pancreatic cancer, and I believe he was diagnosed at age 48, he also had it spread to his liver. A doctor reviewed when it came to the size of the cancer that Steve Jobs' cancer probably started in his early 20s. Cadmium chemical in the Atari devices that he was handling on a regular basis. They believe that's the seed that grew the cancer in his 20s. Now, before you start to blame cancer on Steve Jobs' death, Steve Wozniak was right there beside him all along, being exposed to the same things that Steve Jobs was. But yet Steve Wozniak is still alive at age 73, along with also having a really big belly like Donald Trump and also eating as poorly as Donald Trump. How they started Apple, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak could not afford a computer and they wanted one really badly. So they decided to make their own home computer. That meant both of them were tinkering with toxic materials that we now know cause cancer. See, Wozniak was right there doing it too, but he's not dead guys. You guys know Steve Wozniak is still alive. You see his belly right there? Another version of Donald Trump. All of Steve Wozniak's weight is right around his stomach because Steve Wozniak ate like Donald Trump. Very, very well known that he loved pizza. He loves hamburgers. He likes fried chicken. The body is resilient and he's alive and kicking. A lot of people think someone overweight like Donald Trump is unhealthy because take a look at his belly right there. Let's go on to his diet. He's very well known for enjoying fast food. Kentucky Fried Chicken, you see he has there his mashed potatoes with gravy. He's very well known to enjoy gravy. And then on the other side, you see his McDonald's. He's eating the French fries. He's not eating the small size. He's eating the larger size. And he has his either quarter pounder there or his Big Mac. That's a Big Mac. I know my fast food. <laughs> <laughs> And as a matter of fact, he doesn't eat just one Big Mac. He eats two with the French fry. That would get my vote. So he's also very well known for loving pizza. This taco salad that he's eating there at the bottom is from his restaurant at Trump Tower. He also loves steaks. He, of course, was a Diet Coke drinker, and he loved to have snacks with Oreo cookies and Lay's potato chips and with another Diet Coke dessert. At every dinner, the White House chefs knew that they would feed everybody one scoop of ice cream, but he would get two. Not only did he love Diet Coke, he would drink 12 Diet Cokes per day. Why was Donald Trump different and why is he still alive? Unfortunately, this is the last picture of Steve Jobs in his final days. This is not the way we want to end our lives. We want to end it like Donald Trump. His body is still going quite strongly, even with being almost obese and having more than likely quite a lot of metabolic disease. So why did I present this interesting comparison between Donald Trump and Steve Jobs? Because Donald Trump, we know, eats like crap, but he's still alive. And we knew that Steve Jobs was well known for eating very clean and also being a vegetarian and then turning into a pescatarian. With the unique factor of having his partner, Steve Wozniak, right alongside with him exposed to the same cancer-causing chemicals, but yet he is still alive with his big belly. This is meant to prove to you that I can help you reverse disease 
without diet and exercise. If you're a man over the age of 50 and you want to take care of the problem we just spoke about in this video and you're interested in getting rid of belly fat so that you can reverse disease and get off medications, then click the link below this video where you can get on my calendar and we can talk about your options. Look forward to seeing you on the other side.